welcome back guys now today's video is for those of you who have taken advantage of free HTML codes shared by us to you by sticking with us until the end of our Google Sites video tutorial so if you know what I'm talking about great keep on watching if you are a little bit confused I'm talking about free HTML codes you can use on your web pages built with Google Sites we have previously done and shared on our channel the most commonly asked question we got is how do I edit the images how do I edit the codes and change the images on my e-commerce store now I'm talking about these free hashtags codes we have shared previously how you can display images on your e-commerce stores built with Google Sites. Now if you haven't got access to these codes bear with me until the end of this video I will share the URL and the entire process you need to do to get these codes as well but now just let's have a look quickly how you can actually change these images once you have gained access to the codes. So now let's go to Google Sites. Now before we go ahead and change images on our HTML code let's just quickly look how you can change the text as well so as you can know double click click on embed embed code and paste your code so from here I have taken now this code right here so you can see there is a text on the top of the image so if you come on Google Sites and then you have paste this code you can see this text is the one that is playing on the top of the button so I can just call it button then here is the small text that is displaying across the image so I can just say this is the small text area and as well you have a heading right here saying latest in the store so that's where you place your heading text now if you click on the next you will see your preview okay so that's how you can change the text on your button on your text and on your heading all right so once you click insert you will see you have changed the text on your uh, code within in your code now to change the images let me go ahead and take another code so we currently have this one that displays two images like this so first of all what you need to do you need to host your images somewhere if you want them to use within in your code so we are currently using website called postimages.org and when you come here to this URL you have options to select the sizes you would like to display your image we can just leave it do not resize my image and you don't have to uh, set any expiration simply because then your image will be displaying as a broken question mark icon uh, so just leave it as no expiration and then choose your image and set it to upload it might take a little bit of um, time depending how big is your image that you are uploading so once your images are uploaded you can come here and you will get access to the links now we are using the direct link now you simply need to click on this link to copy the URL and then if you come back on your Google site let me just copy the code okay so let's Let's just paste the code into new section right here click on embed code again and now you are looking for the image URL so as you scroll down you can see one URL is right here so let me go back and copy my image code then just replace this URL now what you need to do scroll down again you will find another image URL right here again I will go ahead and select the second image that I have uploaded because I just simply want them to display different you can of course use one image but then you're sort of losing that effect that this code creates okay and click on paste then click on next and then insert your code okay then you can adjust of course to display it more across the entire page and then let's just publish to save our changes and see how this looks like right now okay so let's click on view published site okay so you can see we have changed these images on the code that is on the page where you can download it from okay so that's simply how you can change the text and how you can change the images on those free HTML codes we are giving away on our channel now if you haven't had any access to the codes yet all you have to do is head to the URL landing.meritmastering.com slash code dash product then you you will land on a page looking like this all you need to do is insert your email address and then you will have access to these codes i have just showed you and even more you will also have access to contact forms subscribe forms some more html buttons you can use on your web pages build with google sites and also some more effects right here you can also get access to stripe payment codes to implement payments on your google site and even have some social media icons here as well thank you so much for watching 
description if you would like to learn more how to use embed elements on Google Sites. Watch this video as the next one and I will see you then.